people describe it as for hundreds of years the church enjoyed a position at the center of culture and now we're back at the margin of culture um, much like it was in the first century and that that's probably has to change some strategies from if you know if, we, if we've been used to doing church at the center of culture and and now that we're we find ourselves at the margin in terms of values and all those other things that go with that that would certainly have to change the way we approach meeting people wouldn't it yeah, it, it totally does and again um, our, our theology helps us here okay it really does help us uh, when when we uh in our theology, we have a great understanding of the Apostles' Creed, first article, second article, third article. And we find ourselves now in the U.S. where the church is in a post-Christian, pre-Christian, however you want to look at it. And, and if some of you may have heard Bob Newton speak. Bob Newton is the president of the California, Nevada, Hawaii district of our denomination. And he speaks a lot about this from the mission field of New Guinea and now in the U.S. And so in, in a post-Christian culture, uh, the wave of culture has passed by the church, and, and as you said, in, in a Christian culture, uh, you might say it's, it's kind of the center here, and as the wave passes by it, 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 is, it is seen or perceived as outdated, irrelevant, all those kind of things that at times become buzzwords with us. In the same way, in a pre-Christian culture, there's lack of awareness of it, and so you have to build a bridge, build a bridge in the culture. You build a bridge in the culture through first article. You build a bridge into cultural culture through the universal values that all people have, right? So for the most part, you go into any civilization and there's a value for life, uh, there's a value for children, uh, there, there are value for marriage, you know, uh, most, not, not all, and, and there's some different things, but for the most part, there's some universal values. So in our culture today, if the church wants to not just regain its central position, because I don't think that's the key issue. I think the key issue is if the church wants to reach this post or pre-culture. And more and more, we're finding pre-Christians, right? I mean, in our own communities, and I'm sure out here, you're, you're going to find people who literally don't know anything about Christianity. I mean, in Katy, Texas, I remember the guy, he was helping us start the church, and he was helping us to load the trailer, and one morning he comes up to me, and he says, so what's this Lord's Supper thing you do? You know, and I'm like going, what do you mean? What's the Lord's Supper thing? Because I never heard somebody ask me that church before, right? So I think what we have to understand again is what values can we, we not co-opt because they're God's values that he's ingrained in, in mankind, but that we can now embrace and use them as a bridge to show our commonness, all right? Our commonness, uh, commonalities with the people we're trying to reach but then bring Jesus along with us into that relationship and that conversation.